let me start my Visual Studio 2010 so I'll go and start my Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 let me create a website uh, of with three tower architecture so for that I'll create a website here uh, empty website Let's give the name as three tower architecture. This th three tire. Okay. My behind code is Visual C Sharp and my .NET framework is 4.0. So creation of project is successful. So let me go to the Solution Explorer. So this is my solution explorer that is 3 tire. Let me just add a ASPX page that is web form page. So I will add a default ASPX page. Let me add a simple grid here. Let's give the nice title here. That is demonstration on three tier architecture. Okay, here we go. Now let's select a database file here. So I will select my adio.mdf file as my database file. So I will select the tables. Okay, this is my database file is selected here. So I'll go to the solution explorer. I will go into my web config file and I will create a connection here. connection strings add name let's give the name as con connection string let's right click on the database file go to the properties copy the connection string path paste it here that's it we're done with the connection now the three tier architecture now you we have created our ui layer we're done with the ui layer now let's create a dal layer and a business layer so for that I'll go to my solution explorer. I'll right click on three tire. I will add I'm sorry, I will add new project here. I will select a class library project. just giving the path okay the class library let's give the nice name as data layer done let's give the name as CLS dial layer
now let me just write the SQL connection so for that I need to input the namespace so I just input the namespace that is using system dot configuration this namespace is been used to retrieve the name connection name from the web config file using system dot data dot SQL client now for time being uh, already coded the SQL connection here so I'll just copy this let me just paste here oops we got the error the name configuration manager does not exist in the current context so for that go to a solution explorer uh, add reference reference of dot net component this system dot configuration namespace let's add to the reference here yes we're done let's see build this okay no errors build is succeeded unexpected let me just fix this error oh. ok we got the error that is xml error we got so we have fixed the error of xml now let's go back to our code now yes let me just copy paste the, the select query that is load customer db just remove this in customer id we don't need in customer id this is this, this is a simple method where I created the data set here I just fired the query of SQL command that is select customer ID customer name customer address from customer table that is this ok that is execute exe ex execute e SQL that is it will go and will retrieve it will open up the connection and it will retrieve the data into the data set and finally it will pass the data set here and it will return the data set here so this is a simple data layer code which looks like now let's create the business layer business log now to create a business logic layer we need to go to our solution explorer and again we need to add the new project go to the add new project class library again let's change the path that is D three higher. Let's give the name as Business Layer. See as Business Layer. So as per this we have created the business layer here now we need to create a communication for data layer so for that use the reference of the data layer namespace that is this so let's use 
in our business layer that is using using data layer okay let before using the data layer let me add the reference here so let me go to the business layer here and right click on the add reference project add data layer reference data layer has been added using system dot data here in our data layer we have created the load customer to load the customers okay a simple method of data set to load the customer now let me just retrieve in my business layer so I will create a object for data layer that is obj dal equal to new ls data layer let me assign this as a private so nobody should access this object outside this class so let me just create a public uh, 